Alright guys, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some fish trap settings that you guys should be using. Now, I'm not going to be showing you guys any fast flags this video, maybe in the next video, but uh, yeah, let's get ready to it. Alright, so I'm going to need you guys to open up your fish trap real quick. We're going to go to configure settings. Okay, now let me just restart the default. When you guys open your fish trap, you're going to go to fast flags, okay, by disabling Roblox telemetry. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Some people make fun of me of the way I say it, but it's okay. We're going to go to rendering graphics anti-analysis quality i always put this to one disable player shadows i always turn this on disable post processing effects always turn this on disable terrain textures okay turn this on this basically like you see the grass the grass won't have any good texture and it won't really render in that well frame limit if you set this to default it'll just use the roblox native frame rate cap so that is right here if you set it to default it will just be this now i always keep mine 120. you could actually just put this 99999 if you just want it uncapped uh preferred lighting technology now normally i would always put this to voxel okay i like voxel a lot i find that it gives me a little bit of a more advantage in some sort of a way okay rendering quality with uh display scaling roblox is gonna like reduce your rendering quality depending on you display your scale of uh windows so like if i minimize my game like make it like a small box it's gonna really uh reduce the quality and stuff rendering mode i always put this to direct 10 3d some people like using opengl more or vulcan or even the 3d 11 but me personally i like using 3d 10 uh, texture quality now you can either put this to zero or two I, I normally like putting on two so the game doesn't look horrible but i like lowest too at sometimes so now we're gonna go to user face and layout disable full screen title bar this is basically when you move your mouse to the top of the screen it's gonna be like oh exit full screen or show full screen or something like that um so you guys want to just turn that off so yeah keep this on roblox menu this is my favorite one okay so this is going to bloat your Roblox menu with custom toggles, right? So VR, that means, as you guys can see, I think it's here. Where is it at? Where is it at? Okay, now VR, basically what you're going to do, if you turn this off and rejoin your game, the VR option is going to be gone. So this is basically just taking all the unnecessary things off this side. So what you guys want to do, you guys want to go turn off VR toggle, unless you use VR feedback button turn this off language selector you can keep this on if you speak a bunch of different languages and need translation but yeah turn this off haptics button turn this off this is for controllers and stuff frame cap now i honestly would keep this one on so you can change your frame rate but for me personally i'm just going to turn this off chat translation i'm going to turn this off debug if you go down here should be ping breakdown and turn this on after you guys do that you just want to click save now guys sadly this video was a quick one i do hope you guys learned something new i hope you guys do enjoy today's video as usual but yeah maybe in the next video i'll show you guys some more potato fast flex because i know you guys love the fast flex but uh yeah i hope everyone has a good day hope you guys enjoyed today's video